Hello everyone, Weather Jamaica here. Welcome to this updated video on the weather across Jamaica and the rest of the Caribbean. It is Saturday morning, October 14, 2023. Now before we jump into it, please ensure that you guys like the video, share it, subscribe and tap the notification bell so that you'll be notified every time I post a brand new video. Feel free to leave a comment down in the comment section letting me know what the that's been like in your year recently. Also feel free to ask any weather related question that you might have about the future of the weather in your specific area. I respond to all comments and I really live for this stuff. Alright, so let us take a look at the US National Hurricane Center 7 day graphical tropical weather outlook. We can see that we still have that era possible tropical cyclone development across the main development region as well as tropical storm Sean. At 5 a.m. this morning or 4 a.m. Jamaica time, Sean was located right there to the east of the Caribbean across the central main development region and it is packing maximum sustained wind of 40 miles per hour moving towards the west northwest at 8 miles per hour as we can see it's expected to disintegrate back to a tropical depression then probably dissipate altogether as relates to the other area that's invest 94l According to the Hurricane Center, it says showers and thunderstorms associated with an area of low pressure located several hundred miles southwest of the Cabo Verde Islands have become more concentrated and better organized during the past several hours. Environmental conditions are becoming more conducive for further development and a tropical depression is likely to form within the next couple of days while the system moves westward or west-northwestward across the central and western tropical Atlantic. So we can see that now it has a 70% chance of formation during the next 7 days and a 70% chance of formation during the next 2 days. So this is the path that it's predicted to take. We know how these things go. Maybe later down the road we might see it taking more of an out to sea turn or it could be taking more of a southerly track. Either way we have to stay updated to see exactly what unfolds. Let us take a look at the surface map of the Atlantic for this morning. We can see that we still have the ridge of high pressure across the Greater Antilles. That's responsible for the dry weather that we've been receiving recently. We can see Tropical Storm Sean and the air of low pressure to the southeast of it. Taking a look at the visible satellite images right now as the sun comes up. Let's see if we can reload these images to get the very latest. We can see Tropical Storm Sean right there dissipating. And to the southeast of Sean, we have that era of development trying to get its act together soon to become a tropical depression or a tropical storm, most definitely. We can also see that the Eastern Caribbean is quite fair this morning. And if we take a look at the visible satellite images of Jamaica right now, we can see where we indeed have some amount of clouds bringing some overcast skies and thunder showers in sections of Portland, especially Eastern Portland as well as northeastern St. Thomas with more rainfall to come and we can even see those high cold cloud tops that indicate the thunderstorm activity that's represented by the blues, the greens, the yellows and if we take a look at the Cuban Doppler radar images we can see the greens and the yellows that represent light to moderate and even heavy rainfall affecting sections of Portland this morning alright so let's just take a look at the temperatures right now we have 26 degrees Celsius in both Montego Bay and the Kingston and as the day progresses by about 18 day on Saturday which is actually 1 p.m. on Saturday we should be getting in on some of those orange colors across Jamaica that represent up to even 3 degrees Celsius above normal temperatures we know the average temperatures for the month of October is about 89 degrees Fahrenheit which is about the equivalent of 31 degrees Celsius so if we should be receiving up to 3 degrees Celsius above normal temperatures for today it should be anywhere from 31 to 34 degrees Celsius. As it relates to the dry air map, we've been noticing for the past week that there is a lot of dry air across the Jamaica area. But we're getting back to more of that moist air. And the moist air is definitely going to be contributing to more of those more of those afternoon thunderstorms that we've been used to. So definitely moist air, definitely going to be triggering some afternoon rainfall, especially across sections of some central and western parishes as usual. As it relates to the Sahara dust forecast, we can see that we don't have any form of Sahara dust across the Caribbean at all for 2 p.m. on Saturday. 
Majority of the dust related to Sahara Desert, the cross portion of the main development region and Africa. As it relates to the wave forecast, you can see that we're getting back into those lighter shades of blues that represent anywhere from 0 to 0 0.5 of a meter wave height. And that's due to the fact that the winds are going to be weak, averaging 5 to maybe 10 knots at most coming in from the east. And we can see where we have those darker shades of blues. That's where we're going to be having that ear pile up. That's where we're going to have those cumulus clouds transforming themselves into cumulonimbus clouds. Then we have that afternoon conviction with that daytime heating. And with that upper level wind shear coming in from the east, northeast, or from the east, definitely going to be bringing more into overcast skies and thunderstorms in sections of some central and western parishes in Jamaica. And we can see that on the rainfall forecast, the Euro model a bit robust, showing lots of blues stretching from east to west across the Jamaica area. This is valid for 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, which is actually 2 p.m. Jamaica time. But the GFS is making more sense, showing more of the blues right there across maybe sections of Kingston, St. Andrew, and the inland areas of some western parishes, so northern Clarendon, northern Manchester, northern St. Elizabeth, southern St. and southern Trelawney, southern St. James. That's where the rainfall is being forecasted. And we're indeed grateful that we're going to be getting in on some rainfall. We didn't get much into of rainfall yesterday. It was quite sunny for Friday. Maybe some rainfall across sections of West Milan and northern St. Elizabeth. But we're starting to get back with that usual October pattern of increased rainfall across the Jamaica area. As we can see on both bar graphs, Kingston bar graph is on the top. Montego Bay's bar graph is at the bottom. As you can see, Montego Bay usually receives more than of rainfall, more than 8 inches of rainfall. You can do the math, J um, Kingston usually receives close to 200 millimeters. Either way, Montego Bay gets more than of rainfall during the month. However, the entire country gets more than of rainfall across the entire uh, month for the year. Uh, so that's it for the forecast across Jamaica. Let's focus our attention on the rest of the Caribbean. So we can see that we don't have much taking place across the majority of the Caribbean. Definitely going to be getting in on some afternoon rainfall before the day is done. We can see that thunderstorm activity across sections of Venezuela, Colombia as usual. Sections of the Yucatan Peninsula, Belize getting in on some morning rainfall as well. And if we take a look, the northeastern Caribbean, we don't see much happening this morning, especially considering that we didn't see anything on the satellite images. Just some passing showers to the south of Puerto Rico. We can see some rainfall right there to the northeast of Barbados, some scattered shores to the south of Barbados as well. And we don't see much happening on the Doppler radar images for this morning, only across sections of southern Florida. That's where we see majority of the activity. However, as it relates to the temperature forecast, we can see above normal temperatures in the forecast anywhere from northern South America, Caribbean, the Gulf of Mexico, and we can see that both the year and the GFS models are showing the same thing for 18th year on Saturday, which is actually 1 p.m. on Saturday. So definitely above normal temperatures will be the order of the day across the region. As relates to Saran dust forecast, we can see that 2 p.m. on Saturday has majority of the Caribbean, majority of the Western Hemisphere. Free of Saran dust, majority of the Saran dust is represented by the bronze right there across the main development region and Africa. Taking a look at the wave forecast, we can see that majority of the Caribbean should be getting anywhere from 0.5 to at least 1 meter wave height. And that's just the fact that the winds are not going to be strong at all. Averaging maybe 5 to at least 15 knots at most coming in from the east. And we can see those darker shades of blues. That's definitely the high pressure ridge taking shape across the greater Antilles to the northeastern Caribbean. And we know that it's definitely high pressure because we usually have the winds coming in from the east on the southern portion of that high pressure and coming in from the west on the northern portion of that high pressure. So definitely this surface map that we looked at, um, at first is definitely making sense. The high pressure ridge is right there situated across the northern portions of the greater Antilles. And if we take a look at the rainfall forecast. These maps from the year on the GFS are showing all the rainfall that's expected from now up until 10 p.m. on Saturday. 
and we do see that we have some amount of isolated spots showers expected across sections of the eastern caribbean but we do see the consensus with more in the way of rainfall across sections of southern haiti maybe sections of the dominican republic as well not so much rainfall across cuba or puerto rico but definitely some amount of rainfall across sections of guyana venezuela definitely sections of colombia panama costa rica nicaragua section of western honduras el salvador guatemala belize as well we don't see much in the rainfall across the yucatan peninsula or the cayman islands but we do see it across sections of florida and the northern bahamas and we know that when we have consensus like this the chances of actually happening are much higher all right so that's it for today thanks for